Joe Biden, he's refusing to give up on his massive voter buy scheme, a.k.a. student loan forgiveness. Reports show that Biden's second attempt at canceling billions of student debt will cost taxpayers a whopping $475 billion over the next 10 years. That's tens of billions of dollars more than the earlier plan that the Supreme Court declared unconstitutional just last month. Well, my next guest says it's unfair. It's illegal and simply a transfer of wealth. Joining me now is former U.S. Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos. Betsy, welcome to Frontline. Thanks, Lydia. Great to be with you. Do, do the American people not see that Biden is simply trying to buy Democrat votes here and that it's simply a transfer of wealth from one voting bloc to another? Well, I think more and more um, Americans are becoming aware of exactly what he's trying to do. And uh, the attempt was a failure and a flop per the Supreme Court's decision. But now he's trying to figure out another way around it through income-driven repayment plan revisions, which, uh, again, would just be an illegal transfer of funds from the backs of students who willingly took the loans out to Americans who never did take the loans out. Um, it's not the way to address what is, we acknowledge, a problem, the runaway cost of higher education. But President Biden had best get serious about serious and, and legal solutions to actually addressing this issue. Absolutely. And while he's trying to cancel out the debt and make 80 percent of Americans paid off, what about the farmers? What about the small business owners? What about people who attend trade schools? They're they're not they're getting the short end of the stick. And then you're seeing our public education system, right? You're seeing failing grades all across the board. They keep saying it's the pandemic. I want you to take a listen to the the president of the largest teachers union, Becky Pringle. She was uh, wailing on stage during a keynote speech. I want you to take a listen to this and get your reaction. Okay. You know who you are. You are the NEA. Our mission is clear. We will advocate for the rights of education professionals, and we will change this world for our students with an inner fire burning. We will never bend. Thank you, NEA, for all God. Betsy? Well, it was an interesting way to address a group of professionals, uh, indeed. Uh, look, the NEA and the AFT are just the tip of the iceberg and the, the tip of the spear in terms of the organizations that really control the K-12 education system and increasingly higher education. And, uh, and it's, it's part of the bigger cabal that has been, been focused on the interests of adults, not on the interest of students and not on the interest of kids, in the interest of kids. So the only solution to this really is to introduce education freedom policies nationwide Many states are doing it today, but more need to, and give parents the opportunity to direct and control the resources for their own child's education, as opposed to sending them to buildings and systems that are controlled by people like this organization is uh, populated with. Betsy DeVos, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Pleasure.